Thanks very much, Jane. You know, bikes mean business. Every day across BC, people pedal in droves towards a greener Vancouver, a greener Kelowna, a greener Nanaimo. British Columbians lead the country in making this daily green choice. Shouldn't our government be leading by making green choices easier rather than harder? They seem to like to talk the talk, but they make no effort to walk the talk. To comment, I'd like to invite my good friend and colleague, John Luton, up here, who is the Executive Director of Capital Bike and Walk and a Victoria City Councillor. John? Thank you, uh, David. Thank you, uh, Lana. Thank you to all of the other speakers. Uh, but most of all, thank you to all who uh, rode your bikes from near and far to come down and make your voices heard. Uh, they can't ignore the continuing voices uh, about uh, tax policies that's not good for the environment, that's not good for your health, um, and somebody inside there needs to start, start listening. I'm uh, very uh, proud to be a city councillor in the cycling uh, capital of Canada, and along with some of the people here and some of the people out there, we've made that happen. And uh, we're looking to uh, build uh, more support for that uh, lifestyle choice. Um, I'm here also to protest the HST on bicycles. I mean, how goofy is that? You're going to be paying through the HST that you're being charged on your bikes for somebody else's roads, for somebody else's choice to drive a car or a truck. It's not just that you're paying more for your bikes, but taxes are going down for people who drive. And it doesn't make up the difference uh, for what they're being uh, uh, charged on the carbon tax. How sensible is that? Um, I supported the carbon tax when it came in uh, against uh, some of the uh, some of my friends who thought uh, it was a, a shell game. It is a shell game uh, the way they've implemented it, but it is a good tax. The problem with the uh, carbon tax is that they gave you back a hundred bucks so that you could go buy a tank of gas. So how sensible is that? Um, you know, it, one of the things. It's a great day out here. And I'd sort of rather be uh, out there biking, but I'm not sure I can afford to. Because not only are you going to tax my bike, but every time I fuel up at a restaurant, I'm going to have to pay the HST on that as well. You don't have to pay it on, on the gas, but um, you, know, uh, you need to be aware that uh, uh, the HST also applies to restaurant meals. And I don't fuel up at the gas station. I go to the bakery, I go to the restaurant, I need 5,000 calories a day, it's going to cost me a lot more. Um, I, I want to go back to a, a couple of comments made by a couple of speakers about, about where the PST exemption came from. Um, as mentioned, it was Hugh Curtis, the, the finance minister in 1981, who brought in the PST uh, exemption on bikes. Like, who'd have thunk that a government of used car dealers would uh, eliminate the uh, tax on bicycles. But these guys in here, they just don't get it. Uh, you know, we're taxing a, a very environmentally friendly choice to subsidize somebody's Hummer. It just doesn't work. No. Um, the government says lately that they're going to spend the money on health care. Well, what is cycling if not a health care program? Um, you know, I... I'm 95, I don't look a day over 70, I'm sure. Um, one of the things that uh, Bruce Ralston said also is that we've taken our tax policy and given it to Stephen Harper. So what we're doing now with the HST is selling more of his tar sands oil with the uh, motor fuels exemption and taxing bikes because uh, Mr. Harper probably thinks like climate change that it's just another pinko okay. plot. <laughs> We need policies and programs that help people make sustainable choices, and riding your bike is one of those. So we need to be reducing taxes, uh, like Andrew said, reduce uh, uh, not only uh, the PST or the HST, but the GST, because we want people to choose choices that don't impact the environment, that are positive uh, for their health, um, and do the things that we want to do as a community, as a province, as a country. And we've given that away to uh, Ottawa, and these guys uh, just don't get the message. Now, the HST is going to create 
an inflationary pressure of almost 1% on its own. But if you ride a bike, that inflation is 7%. That's a big chunk to pay, and it's not fair. Now, at the same time, in the budget yesterday, they cut Bicycle BC funding from 10 million a year to 3 million a year. So there's another program that is suffering from these guys. So it's all talk and no walk, or no pedal, as the case may be. Um, they're making it cheaper to drive, they're making it more expensive, um, and if you don't like uh, the road that you've um, uh, got to ride on, they're going to make you wait for decades before that gets fixed. So, and on the other score, they're also making it, um, they're not giving a lot to transit unless you live into Vancouver. Um, if you want to take transit in Victoria, you can wait your turn. The Premier said that the, uh, the Olympics were, wasn't enough snow for the Olympics, and it was all about uh, climate change. So, the Olympic dip, uh, meltdown, uh, not necessarily about the budget, but um, about climate change is upon us. And we need to be working for solutions that tackle that problem. And cycling and all of you people out there are part of the, part of the solution. And these guys are saying you're part of the problem. And they're taking your money to subsidize somebody else. It's not fair. It's not right. You need to write to the Premier, write to your MLA, and tell them to take the tax off of bikes. And uh, our future depends on it. And I'm looking forward to pushing back at these guys till we win this one. Thanks a lot.